Hello guys, this is the rebuild of my layout number two. I've been kind of a naughty boy. I was going to show you how I wired it up again, uh, but I had another project kind of catch my eye and that was uh, changing this part around, which I am pointing to. Um, if you haven't, if this is your first video you've tuned in on, um, the last video this whole layout was blank. I dug out some of my building and started putting them up. This, where the church was, was a big square of this cobblestone. It was pretty boring and it was actually kind of hard to put the buildings there without it looking like a big cluttered mess. So I had an idea to kind of copy this side with my colorful buildings um, on this side with my small buildings and keep that angle going. So no matter what way you look at my layout, if you're looking this way or this way, you're, you're looking at the building somewhat at an angle. It's a little more interesting. So it is kind of strange from up above. <laughs> it's like a big arrow for some reason. And I came to realize that I was very bad at geometry in high school and how important it would be. I try to make those even and with the size of the buildings, and to get all the buildings I wanted in here, it didn't make any sense. So um, those were going to be off-center, but I figure once I get all the scenery done and everything, no one will really notice, or everybody will notice. <laughs> so just going on here, I decided to do just a row of buildings, which gives me almost 11 businesses across. Um, this is a fill-in building. I have another one I'm going to put there. Uh, I like the tops of these buildings actually match the tops of these buildings and that was completely coincidental. I did not realize that when I bought them because I had bought them all at different times. So, uh, I, If you haven't noticed by now, I've kind of gone for a more European look to my layout. I had American buildings on here and then some European buildings, so I just pretty much all switched over to Helgen and Pola, however that's pronounced, kits, and uh, I really just like the look of them. Right here is going to be a little axis way. And my next thing I'm going to do, where you see all my old foam and my tractors, that is going to be more of a field because of the windmill. I figured they wouldn't have a big city right next to a windmill. There would have to be kind of an open field. I'm going to put some trees and hold on to your hats. Um, for my UK fans, I'm going to have a um, caravan park and for us Americans um, like a campground. Uh, I'm going to try to do it as subtle as I can but uh, I'm going to have some trees in there and a couple uh, campers or caravans that um, be slipped in there and a couple of fun scenes. So um, as I block my camera with my own tower I don't know if that's staying because strangely enough it is the exact same height as the church steeple. So I have the windmill, the clock tower, and the church steeple, and they're all sort of fighting for height here. So I don't know, one of them's got to go on, sadly. Maybe the tower, and it may have to go on my next layout. So, um, plus there's a clock already on the building, I just noticed. So that one of those clocks is redundant. Like I said, I still haven't got this layout under power, but it is a layout video, and I should run some trains, and I'm not telling, but I actually found an HO scale train that is battery powered. So I'm going to let him go. Hopefully it stays on the track. It has huge flanges. Goes behind the buildings. I pretty much have an oval of 18 radius track. I run really small locomotives and rolling stock, so um, the 18 radius curve doesn't really matter. If I would have had to do it all over again, I would have done 22, but this is what I got. The table, um, for those who don't know, is only about 4 by 6, so um, not working with, with the full deck here in either aspect, so. But, yeah, that's just, it's a little German locomotive. Got a battery underneath, switch on the side. Eh, I just run it sometimes if someone wants to see a train running and I'm working on the electric and I can't run something I'll just pop that on or 
my little nephew will run it. So, uh, try not to make this layout video too long, but we hopefully will be getting this uh, part glued down. I'll be getting some turf. Uh, I'm going to cut out around the church here. That's my cat. Cut around this church here. Have uh, some green grass, some trees, and maybe a little cemetery there because in Europe, when I, at least well, at least when I was in England, uh, they just had the cemetery right in the church yard and a church in the middle of town like this where they build around it. Not that uncommon. So uh, I really think it's going to bring the whole town together a little bit more, and it's not going to look so cluttered. So. Hope you enjoy it. We'll hopefully post part three maybe tomorrow night. I got a train show. Hopefully I'll pick up some nice stuff there and I'll uh, let you know if there's any further plans. So thanks again for watching. Thanks again for subscribing. I haven't chased too many people off by now, which amazes me. And uh, hopefully some of these tips help or you're enjoying the layout video.